is good everybody welcome back to the episode of Doozies TV I'm your host of Doozies you already see what the vibes are today I've been pushing off this video for a while now just because I've been thinking about like I'm going to keep adding more kicks to my collection so I don't know when if I start laughing by the way in the middle of this because my brother's holding the camera and this dude's an absolute menace so I digress uh, you want to say what's up real quick I'm good <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways uh <laughs> Got my brother behind the camera, shout out to him for pulling up today and helping me out with this video. It's going to take a minute, so I owe him big time. But but yeah, like I was saying earlier, I have a bunch of kicks and I'm about to show you all my sneaker collection as it is right now. This video probably won't be up for a couple weeks, so from now until then, I'm definitely going to get some more kicks. So if you see some reviews that aren't in this video, just know that this video is filmed before that, so y'all get me. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I have so many kicks and I've just been putting off this video just because... I kept thinking like I'm gonna get another pair, another pair, another pair, but uh, at some point I just gotta film this, you know. And then in a couple years maybe I'll refilm this and see what I got rid of and what I and what I still got from from this point. So, anyways, a lot of my stuff, not a lot, a few of them are still DS. We're gonna start off on this side. Oh, real quick, uh, I'll, I'll take the camera real quick. I'll give you guys a quick overview. Y'all see some empty spots right there. It's only because it's for future pickups. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Uh, ignore those empty ones, there's uh, some stuff coming soon, inshallah. Uh, we'll start off with some heat, straight from the top. My brother's favorite pair in my collection. He's making a face behind cam. You got the Jordan 6, Travis Scott, absolute fire. Like I said, my review, shout out to Samitar and Trevor. They've been, you know, they've been telling me to get a pair, get a pair, get a pair. I finally went ahead and got them. Uh, still D to the S. I haven't put the yellow laces in like I said I would, um, but I think honestly I might take back that statement and put in the black ones. I don't know. So I haven't decided yet. So I got the olive colorway and then if you get the olive colorway you gotta get the brown colorway just the way that I work. Uh, come on. So yeah, you got the British khakis. I already told y'all I was going with the red laces, straight vibes. What do you think of these? Not bad. Not bad, eh? Okay, anyways, well, it's better than you know, from before. Uh bro, every time I see this shoe, I just look at all the details, the craziness glowing the soul uh bottoms when you know when i go to bed at night and i all i see some green flash in the in the sky is literally just from this so yeah british khaki sixes go hard so i haven't worn them either but i literally just got them a couple weeks ago uh one of my favorite kicks bro i'm gonna say this real quick the most shoes in my collection from a silhouette is the uh jordan 3 uh, that's the most kicks that i have from one specific silhouette that is not my favorite silhouette though my favorite silhouette is Jordan 7. Uh, one of my favorite sevens ever, the Dornbeckers. Super, super dope. I'm glad I went ahead and got these. The leather quality is amazing. Uh, Dude, what do you think of these? A1. A1, okay, finally, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's starting to warm up to us, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's still new to the channel. What can I say? So yeah, Jordan 7, Dornbeckers. And then, <sighs> y'all know how I feel about this. Y'all know how I feel about these, bro. Put up a video on this not too long ago the lebron 9 wash the thorn still d to the s um yeah bro honestly my 14 year old self 15 year old self whatever you want to call it i remember what age it was i think like 15 16 h bro i'm gassed over these literally every sneaker in my collection i can give you guys a story about but i'm not going to because it's going to take freaking forever but i'm gonna just touch on uh i'm gonna tell the stories that i want to tell pretty much yeah moving on uh right here this is probably, uh, actually no, it is definitely the most expensive sneaker in my collection, the Alma Manier Jordan 3. Uh, I didn't pay the price that it's going for now. It's literally going for like six or $700 more than what I actually paid for. Um, but yeah, in terms of what I paid for this, this is not the most ex uh, expensive purchase in my collection, but the most expensive pair in my collection if I was to sell them. So yeah, Alma Manier 3s. It was a 20, it was ranked 2021 sneaker of the year. It wasn't my personal sneaker of the year, but mad dope. Uh, next, some fire, bro. I know Yeezys are dying off, uh, still D to the S. I know Yeezys are dying off, but it don't matter to me. I love, I love my Yeezys. I have a few pairs. I got rid of a couple, but I still have a few, so dope. Um, next up, we got... By the way, there's no order for how I laid out my sneakers or just in cases. Like I haven't lined them up like Jordan 1 through 10 or whatever. I just have them lined up however I have them lined up. You got one of my personal favorites. I wore these, bro. These were two, these turned heads when I put them on feet. The LeBron 9 
uh, Miami Knights. Yeah, Miami Knights. Super comfortable, bro. One of the most comfortable LeBrons I actually ever put on feet. Super, super comfortable. And speaking of a comfortable LeBron, you got the LeBron Old Palmer, LeBron, LeBron, ooh, LeBron 18 low, LeBron Old Palmer. Uh, rumor on the street is we're getting the LeBron 9 uh, LeBron Old Palmers this year. Uh, that is still a rumor, but apparently it's more than confirmed. I have no idea what I stepped in, but there's some disgusting gungus right there. But yeah, if those come back, then definitely getting a pair. And the other thing I'll say about these real quick is, is my brother's wife's favorite pair. So Amanda, shout out to you for liking these. Next up, I got a lot of hate on this because this was my sneaker of the year. I got hate from my brother. I got hate from Sammy. I got hate from, yeah, everybody. The, the, I was going to say LeBron, the Jordan 4 Lightnings. I wore these, uh, I think once or twice maybe. Super, super dope, bro. I don't care what nobody said. It was my sneaker of the year last year. It was just too crazy. Um, in terms of hype stuff, I'm going to say this. I have a few hype stuff. Like I already showed you all some Travis. I got some other stuff coming up. But I'm looking to get more and more. Uh, it's not even like, I'm not hype beast at all. I just love what I love. So hopefully some more, some more dope stuff coming. Uh, this, uh, I still haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna keep these or sell these with the LeBron. Um, why am I seeing LeBron every time? The Pharrell NMDs Nerd. Um, you got, again, I'm not trying to be racist. I don't know what writing that is, but you got Nerd coming across that tongue. Super dope to me. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to go quickly because we got a lot of kicks. Jordan 1 Low Crimson Tent. Not gonna tell you too much, but definitely Definitely a shoe you should have, in my opinion. And they're super cheap, bro. Beautiful colorway, too. I know a lot of people think they're women's shoes, but I don't care, bro. I like what I like. Next up, the only, actually, no, I was gonna lie. Uh, Air Force One Drew League, bro. These go crazy. These go crazy. I did wear this. Um, yeah, so it's just inspired by the Drew League that happens every summer in the, in the States. Bunch of NBA players play in it, stuff like that. Now, this one, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this, but not too long. Uh, nobody really knows that I have this. It's a uh, prom night Jordan 11. My brother's already laughing. It's a cap and gown. A little bit. So. What did I say? Prom night. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Okay. Isn't both names prom night and cap and gown? No. Cap and gown. Yeah, you're right. I know, right? But, uh, isn't it, isn't it prom night as well? Anyways, I think that was the original name. Anyways, uh, these are worn. Uh, but shout out to my man Brandon breezy as I call him. He got me this uh, He did a trade with some dude. I didn't even know he was gifting it to me The reason why he gifted it to me is because you know, he blessed me and asked me to be the best man at his wedding um, So he gave me he gave me this as a gift and Bro, I'm just grateful for that. So thank you my brother next up. We got I'm gonna lie I'm not spending no time on this at all Flying at Air Force is completely beat bro beat to the ground, but one of the most comfortable shoes in my collection. So anyways, skipping through that. Next up, we got another shoe. Nobody really knows that I have. It's a CP3 10 or 11, I want to say. CP on the tongue. The Space Jam colorway that released with the Space Jam 11s a few years ago in 2016. This I was gifted to as a Christmas gift from Mahadi and Seapuff. My dogs, bro. These I only have worn for ball. Every time if I go to the YMCA or whatever, I, I only wear these. These are my ball kicks. Super dope to ball it. So Mahadi C Puff, appreciate you guys. Next up we got LeBron 8 Lakers colorway. Super dope. If you're a LeBron fan, not even like I'm a, Kobe's always number one to me, but uh Laker colorway and LeBron 8s. LeBron 8's one of my favorite silhouettes, and everybody knows I'm a Laker fan, so had to get these. Super dope. Uh next stuff, we're going into some OG stuff. Me, I am an OG head. I love OG sneakers. So these were a no-brainer for me. Fire Red 4s. Super dope. Nike Air tatted on the cheeks. I did wear these multiple, multiple times. And then I remember the first time I wore this, I think I went to like a grocery store or whatever. And some dude just shared up a random dude came up to me and said, yo, I love your shoes. I was like, my man, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Next up, we're about to get into some hype, man. Whew. I got these. Let me pull out the other one actually. I'm gonna pull out the other one for a reason. You got the off white Jordan 2. Shout out to Virgil, man. Rest in peace. I wore this. I wore these white socks the first time I did, and it has like uh, white socks uh, liner or whatever you want to call it on the inside. Yeah, worn. 
Uh, shout out to Virgil Boy, rest in peace. I got this like two days before the brother passed away. So, and man, I'm grateful that I did what I, I'm grateful that I got him when I did. I've always been a fan of most of his off fight stuff, and I wish I could get some more, but the prices on them since his passing has just skyrocketed. Next up, we got the Michigan Jordan 5. Uh, you got Inspire on the inside of the tongue. It usually just says Jordan, but these are Michigan. These I paid. I paid retail, but retail was super high on them. And the quality though is definitely worth it. I know my brother likes it because of the quilted inside. Super, super comfortable. The, the material that they used on this was proper. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this on the back, but it is what it is. I just love, I just love the colorway, bro. Navy blue with that yellow, proper. So moving on. Next up, we got Brick City, as a lot of people call this. I don't care, I buy for me and I buy what I like. I'm a huge Laker fan, like I said. So these Laker 12s, I don't care what the actual name is for these. I call them Laker 12s because, oh, Warren, hella Warren too. Uh, inspired by Gary Payton when he played for the Lakers. So I'm calling them Laker 12s till I die. Super comfortable and bro, I love the colorway. So yeah, going on to the next one, another LeBron. The LeBron 8. Hardwood Classics, Jesus, that took me a minute. People, I know my homie from work told me, asked me, he's like, yo, is that the next colorway? I was like, nah, man, Hardwood Classics. If you know about the Cavs from back in the day, we're talking about Mike, Mark Price days. If you know who Mark Price is, lethal, bro. Uh, one of the most underrated players, but super, super dope. I remember when these originally came out, they were PE like over 10 years ago. So the fact that he's actually released, I was happy to grab a pair and they bricked which means it was an easy cop, which it was. So I feel like in a few years when LeBron retires, that's just gonna go up in price. Uh, but I'm grateful that I got him when I did. This, I'm actually leaving these for the end. I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave them for the end because that, that means the most to me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Next up we got, I only have a few Jordan 1s, but one of my favorites, bro. Court Purple 2.0. The leather quality was all right, but worn multiple times. The leather quality was all right, but uh, I just love the color blocking, simple. Uh, purple, white, black, Chicago color blocking. Can't go wrong with it. Another sneaker, as they call it, Brick City. I don't really care, bro. I love them. Georgetown, Jordan 3s. I personally am a huge fan of any of uh, Georgetown colorway. So when I saw them release on these, I had to go out and get them. Bro, again, I don't know what I stepped in, but disgusting. Yeah. And next up, like I said, huge OG head. So BC3, bro, fire, fire. Absolutely love this shoe. I wish they did an OG style because like if you see the, the body is nice and wide, but the OGs are actually slimmer. So hopefully next release, they do come out in the slimmer style. When I'm talking about slimmer, these got the OG treatment with the Nike on the back. Fire red, no, not fire red, excuse me. Uh, I don't even remember the name on this. Red cement. Red, no, it wasn't red cement. Was it red cement? Yes. Okay, maybe it was red cement. I don't remember. Yeah. Went with white laces because that's fire. But yeah, you see how this one's much more narrow compared to that one. This is the, they put OG style on the shoe. That's not an OG, but this could have been OG. Next up, one of my personal favorites in my collection, bro. Whew, UNC three. These go for a bag right now. Nuts. I did wear these a few times to be honest, but. I know these, how much these go for now. These are never leaving my collection. Anything baby blue, UNC blue, absolutely love. And I actually prefer this over the UNC PE that came out. This one has the Jumpman tongue. The PE one has the big North Carolina branding on it. I actually prefer this. Uh, next up, another Brick City. Um, I don't know why these bricks, but it is what it is. The uh, Jordan 3 NYX colorway on the inside. It has a date, bro. You got 040888, that's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, NYX colorway, super fire. And the quality actually on this is great. They put a great quality on this. And now, I remember these bricks when it came out and they sat on shelves. And I even think they went on sale in a couple places, but now they go for like, I think like four or 500 Canadian. Next up, another shoe that went on sale, the Jordan 3 Mochas. These, never leaving my collection. Like, super, super dope to me uh love it simple mocha brownish brown and white uh these go for a bag too now i think not not a bag but a lot uh next up we got uh, we're gonna come down here lebron 7 fairfax 
Again, another PE that never released as far as I know, but when it did, I knew I had to grab them. One of my favorite LeBrons ever. Uh, and I know these bricks went on sale, even hit outlets, but it don't matter to me, bro. If I, if I really want the shoe, I'm gonna pay retail for it. I don't care about it going on sale. Next up, we got, it's actually a cleat. I uh, made these off Nike ID. I put Mamba on the side for them. Yeah, put Mamba on them, inspired by not inspired, but I just wanted to put mom because I love Kobe. I wore these two uh, when I was playing football my last year. I I think I, I played soccer in them too, maybe once or twice. But yeah, Tokyo Maze Air Max 1s, super comfortable. I remember these were hard to get. I had, I had my brother helping me out with these. And then I was able to hit on 11 and a half on Nike's website, which was completely random, but I'll take it. Next up, we got, if it might, it's going up in value, but Chicago One Lows. These are crazy. I got these from an outlet in Niagara Falls a few years ago. I remember it was the only pair that they had. It's a size 12. I'm a size 11, but I was like, I'm gonna force it. I got them for 80 bucks, bro. 80 bucks. Right now in this condition, these are going for like six or 700 bucks, which makes me want to sell them only because I can't wear them because they're so damn big. Um, but I remember uh, they had these and they had the Cyber, Cyber Monday Lows. And I was gonna get me the Cyber Mondays. My brother was with me at the time, so I called him and I said, yo, I'm, I can get these for you. He said, nah, I want the highs, I want the highs. I like, right, no worries, bro. So I went ahead and got these for me. But yeah, I probably, I might end up selling these to be honest. So there's that. Next up, Jordan 12. Super Bowls. If you know, you know. A lot of details. A lot, a lot of details. Super dope. Next up, another shoe that's gone up in value like crazy for whatever reason. Metallic Jordan 1, absolutely. Hang on, I wanna show you all this. Absolutely destroyed, bro. I wore these so many times, bro. Even the laces are disgusting, but. Anyways, moving on. I got a lot of shoes, bro, holy. That's crazy, I'm downsizing too. That's nuts. Next up, we got uh, Neon Soul, Korea Soul, something like that. I don't wanna be disrespectful to anybody, but. Uh, Air Max 97, this was part of the Nike pack where they let uh, people come in and design their own Nikes and it released to the public. This was one of the winners along with like five other cities. Um, next up, OG head through and through. We got whatever you want to call them, Bread Fours, Black Cement Fours. I've heard both names. I absolutely love them. This is what this is what everybody remembers when Jordan hit that shot over Cleveland to send them to the next round when everybody wrote them off. If you watch The Last Dance, you know what I'm talking about. I've only worn these a few times because I want to keep them in pristine condition. The Undrake, I'm going to call them Undrake for the, for the tongue. If you know, you know. The Undrake 4s, Raptors, whatever you want to call them. Super joke in my opinion. Next up. Next up, we got Jubilee 11s. Honestly, not much to say. Jubilee 11, super dope. Garbage. <laughs> what <are we> <laughs> I, I got them because I was able to get them. They're a nice colorway, simple. But these now, shout out to my brother. If it wasn't for my brother, this guy's smiling from ear to ear on the other side of his camera. If it wasn't for my brother, I probably wouldn't have these. Um, Most he, definitely. Anyways, he hit on the OVO raffle. He called me right away. I asked him to enter for me. He, I called, he called me right away as soon as he won. And he's like, yo, I want them. He's like, what do you want to do? You want to buy them? I was like, bro, let me go get my credit card. It was a grip at the time. The more I think about it now, I kind of wish I went for the white pair as well because it restocked a few times, but I only wore this once because um, I always wanted to keep it in good condition. It means a lot to me because my brother was able to get them for me. So shout out to him. Next up, fire, bro, fire. Concord 11s, shout out Mahadi. Mahadi, like my brother, Mahadi entered a raffle for me at a full locker and he won them and I was able to get them through Mahadi. So shout out to you, bro, love you. Next up, we got Carmine 6s, bro. I was trying so hard to get my brother to get a pair, but he, had, he got the 2011 pair, I think it was, with the Jordan brand on the back or Jordan uh, logo on the heel, mine's Nike Air. Uh, and shout out to my girl Alla for blessing me. She took care of me real good on these. 
Oh, shout out to Ala too for the laning fours, bro. You, you blessed me on them. I am gonna lie. Uh, next up, another shoe, very underrated in my opinion. Very, very underrated. The, the K54 Jordan 6. Uh, I did get the brother pair as well. I got like the brown one, but I gifted those to my brother because uh, I knew I wasn't going to wear them like that, so I tossed it to him. I kept the one that I wanted and I gave him the other one. So I gave it to him for free because family. No said. Next up, we got one of my favorite Yeezys ever the Zebras. I think these are your favorite too. You know? No, I like them. They're nice. So are the blue tins. You, you like the blue tins? That's the first time I'm hearing of this. Uh, zebras, bro, uh, worn these so many times, but super comfortable. Can't go wrong with them. Okay, next up, we got probably these and the Almas are probably the most hyped stuff in my collection. We got the Jordan 5. Oh boy, my brother is stressed behind the camera. I remember when I got him, I picked him up from his crib. And I was like, yo, dude, I'm gonna give you the honors of opening this. He opens a box, he read the label, he's like, what the hell is this? And then he flipped the box over and he sees the holes and he's like, yo, like, what's the holes? And they opened it and then, ah, it was the whole thing after that. Still haven't worn these D to the S. I still gotta throw on, I gotta throw on the red laces, bro. I gotta throw on the lid. I got these for a good price too, bro. I am well, I got them from eBay. eBay has some gems sometimes. When I saw them for the price that I saw on eBay, I was like, bro, I ain't gonna get them for a better price. So let me go ahead and pull the trigger. I'm happy that I did. So I still, I still gotta rock them. Uh, don't know when, but I will. Next up. Shout out to my brother because infrared Jordan 6. I think this might be his favorite in his collection. Yes, one of them. One of them. One of them. One of them. Uh, I wasn't planning on getting them, but then I was with my brother when he got his pair, and I was like, hey, bro, let me go ahead and get a pair. And now these go for like six or seven bills, too. So I'm glad that I got them when I did. Uh, another pair. Uh, next pair up is ugh, disgusting but the unc jordan 6 i prefer these over the white uncs that are about to release in a few weeks um but sadly these are not going to stay in my collection because i'm gifting the, these to one of my homies so my boy these are coming your way soon uh next up we got bronze sevens uh red carpet one of my favorite lebrons in my collection <laughs> yeah like i said if i start laughing it's because of my freaking brother um do you like these you know, bud. Anyways, Bronze 7 is red carpet. Super dope. Um, next up, I'm not even, like, this is no point of wasting time. Mercur Mercurials. Cleats. There's just some cleats. There's just some cleats, literally. Uh, these. UNC 11 Lows. Honestly, I'm going to sell these at some point. Because I don't need them in my collection. I got these only because I never thought I would get the LeBron 7 red carpets. These are LeBron 14 red carpets. Um, they're they're a great shoe, don't get me wrong. But I don't need them since I got the LeBron 7. So definitely going to look to sell these. But still like them. Next up we got a shoe my brother is very stressed about. I'm not stressed. You're not stressed over these? You're not stressed over these? Yeah, they If you know... You know, no lace gang. You know why? Because we from West Philadelphia, born and raised. These are the Fresh Prince fives. Nike Air, ta Nike Air tatted on the cheek. Super dope, super comfortable. What brother leather quality was premium on this. Couldn't go wrong. Uh, Jordan 1 Pollens. Fuck man, it's still wet. I wore these earlier today in the snow and they're still drying off, so I don't want to talk too much about them. Uh, these are probably the most worn shoes in my collection. Absolutely love them. Carbon Yeezys. Nobody likes them. Super dope to me. Bro, look at the bottoms. Disgusting. But super dope to me. Super comfortable. I wear these a lot, bro. Like these are my these are my like height beaters, I guess you if you can say. And then the shoe, one of the two shoes that started it all for me. I don't have the first shoe that started it all. Uh, if, I ever, if I can ever get them again, I will, but my first ever retro. So it has a special place in my heart. The Jordan 13, Cherries or Chicago's, or whatever you want to call it. Sure. Cherries or Chicago, anyways. Sure. I like Chicago better. <laughs> um, bro, I can't say anything about these, bro. OGs, can't go wrong with them. Beautiful shoe. Craftsmanship is dope, the quality is dope. And 
one of the most jo comfortable Jordans ever. Like comfort wise, if you're looking for comfort, I'm telling you 13 is the way to go. And I'm such a good brother. I let my brother wear these in Toronto when we were there for a weekend and he only brought one pair of kicks with him. So I said, bro, go ahead and rock these. Me, whenever I go on trips, I bring bare kicks, you know, just in case. So, oh, the UNC sixes, shout out to you, Carl, cause I let you rock them when we were in Toronto one time too, fam. So there's that. And then OG head got the fire red fives. Now I put black laces in them cause I think they look so much better with that. I know you're not supposed to mess with OGs, but I personally prefer all the black laces. Gives them that nice break that it needed cause all white with white laces, that was a lot of white, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no should be racist, you know what I mean? But I prefer the black laces. Now three shoes left. Remember I got one over there I gotta go back to, but my favorite bra ever, hands down. The LeBron 8 South Beach. Uh, Brony South Beach is like I was saying, my favorite LeBron ever. Uh, when I saw them retro, I took a heavy L, but I just went through StockX and paid resale. I got them for a really good price actually. Somebody was selling them for low, so I went ahead and scooped them up. I uh, still haven't worn these yet. Honestly, I don't know when or, I don't know when I'm gonna wear them, but super dope. And then we got Fire Bro. I actually won a raffle on this, so finally. You got the Jordan 11 breads. Can't go wrong with these, bro. Every, bro, you need these in your collection. Everybody needs a pair of these in, in their collection. Abdullah, shout out to you, because <laughs> on the release date for these, he fell asleep. You remember that, I know you do. Yeah, he full, fell asleep, and I, I won a raffle at Full Locker to get my pair, and then they released on Nike at 6 a.m. I was up, I was calling this fool. He wasn't waking up. I went ahead and grabbed him a pair, and then he woke up like five minutes later, and he's like, what happened? I was like, don't worry, your brother came through. But yeah, Jordan 11 breads. You need these in your collection, super dope. So that is every shoe here except for one. Um, this shoe means this shoe means the most to me in my collection. Um, those who know me knows how know how much of a Kobe fan that I am. And when Kobe died, I I cried for like three days. I know my brother cried for like a day. Um, it just broke me, bro. I am gonna lie to you. Kobe inspires me every single day. Um, I got literally have like Kobe my wristbands, bro. Yeah, yeah, literally Kobe wristbands. Um, Bro, I can't even put into words what Kobe means to me. These, I got these a month before Kobe had passed away. I couldn't even get them myself because at the time that they were dropping, I had a meeting with one of my profs. So my boy Breezy pulled through and was able to hit on a pair for me. They, bro, they were sitting because they weren't hype. But it was my, my favorite, like Kobe, one of my favorite Kobe colorways ever. And one of my favorite silhouettes as well. So I knew I had to get them. Um, so shout out to Breezy for pulling through and getting me a pair. But then... Uh, they released December and then Kobe passed away the following January. So then when he passed away, I just could never bring myself to wear them. Um, and now Kobe shoes go for like a ridiculous amount. And he has some, the whole Nike and Bryant family thing. We don't know if we're going to get any more Kobe. So that's why these mean so much to me. I had every shoe I'm going to wear in my collection. But these, I don't know if I will. Just because of how much they mean to me. Uh, Kobe 4 Pro Cho Wizenard. I feel like that's a great shoe to end off on. So I'm gonna put that back in there. But yeah, there you have it. That is my secret collection so far. We got some more stuff coming, inshallah, hopefully soon. Uh, I know my brother is stressed because he knows the stuff that I'm looking at to get next. <laughs> Anyways, my brother is stressed because some stuff is happening soon. So I'm gonna end the video there. Shout out to my brother for filming. Uh, shout out to you guys for watching. It's been your boy Abdulaziz. This has been my secret collection. This is Abdulaziz TV. We out, peace.